Some time ago, I made this video on the experiment of Orsted. The magnet rotates when a current circulates through the wire. With some changes, the rotation of the magnet can be made continuous, thereby converting the device into a motor. This is what I will show you in this video. This is what I came up with. Instead of a single wire, we have a coil now. It is a coil of 10 turns. The coil starts at this point and the end is here. We will connect the supply voltage here. So the current goes here through the coil and goes to this point. Notice that the axis of the rotor has a wire and when this wire makes contact the electricity can flow through the axis which is a conductor of course and there is another wire that makes contact with the axis and goes here to the other terminal of the supply and the circuit is completed. Therefore the coil will be activated when this wire touches this point just in time when the magnets are aligned with the coil. Therefore when we make contact the coil creates a magnetic field that pushes the rotor in this direction. The inertia makes the rotor turn until returns to the same position, makes contact and receives another kick and the motion continues. Let's now see how it works. I have my power supply set at 10 volts and let me give an initial push to the motor and there you have it Let me increase the voltage to 15 volts. It now rotates faster, of course. The magnetic field is stronger. And 25 volts. Okay, there you have it. 